Good morning, students. Today we are going to study about lesson seven, the Mauryan Empire. So before starting lesson seven, all of you please read lesson six because it is a continuation of lesson six. Seven is the continuation of lesson six. So before reading this lesson, you have to revise lesson six. It will be more helpful to you. Okay, in lesson six, what we have learned in lesson six, we learned about the importance of Janapadas or Mahajanapadas and republics and monarchies and the condition of Mahajanapadas. What was the main crops and what was the trade? Everything we learned in lesson six. And uh, there were all together sixteen Mahajanapadas were there. How many Mahajanapadas were there? Sixteen. Sixteen Mahajanapadas were there, and among these uh, sixteen Mahajanapadas, five uh, Mahajanapadas were very strong. Which are the Kosala, Vatsa, Magadha, Vajji, and Avandi. These were the five strongest Mahajanapadas, and among them, one was very strong, Magadha. Magadha was very strong. All together, sixteen were there, and five was very strong. Kosala, Vatsa, Magadha, Vajji, and Avandi. Among these five, Magadha was the strongest one. And uh, next, we discussed about the agriculture and uh, the main income collected from agriculture only. The people they earn the income from agriculture only. Okay, and uh, after the invention of iron. the people they started to use different kinds of uh, in, um, weapons or tools for improving the condition of agriculture and they made many canals for irrigation and uh, the people the farmers they learned how to make manure how to use manure to grow more agricultural product and we discussed about the rise of cities Patliputra, Kushambi, Ujjain. These were the important cities of those days. And next, we discussed about the Republican state of Vajji. Republican state of Vajji. Vajji was a confederacy. Confederacy means it is a union of eight clans. Vajji was a confederacy. Confederacy means it is a union of eight clans. And next, we finally we learned about. the magadha rise of magadha i told you magadha was the strongest mahajanapada and uh, here we are going to study about what was the reason for uh, the growth of magadha the growth of magadha and uh, four monarchies also were there what was the four important or prominent monarchies kosala vatsa magadha and uh, avandi okay these were the four important monarchies and uh, magadha was located in the uh, place or now it is in bihar from uh, 6th century bc to the 4th century bc magadha was ruled by three dynasties magadha ruled by three dynasties which are they haryanga shishnaga nanda these were the three rulers ruled by magadha okay and from where we will get the information about these dynasties we will get the information from books ashtadhyay is there it's a grammar book and arthashastra is there it is written by kautilya we will get the information from these books okay and i told you magadha was very strong what was the reason for the growth of magadha what was the natural advantages first one is magadha was situated in the fertile plains along the river ganga that was the first and important natural advantage got okay magadha was situated in the fertile plains of river ganga and next we discussed about the strong rulers okay we uh, i told you that three important dynasties were there which are they haryanga shishnaga and nanda rulers ruled by ruled 
Magadha and Bimbisara was the first great ruler of Haryanga dynasty. Who was the first uh, ruler of Haryanga dynasty? Bimbisara. Bimbisara was the first great ruler of Haryanga dynasty. His son Ajatashatru murdered him and ascended the throne. Bimbisara and Ajatashatru had their capital at Rajgraha. Bimbisara and Ajatashatru made capital in Rajgraha and they made many road, canal and uh, different type of or many facilities, many development programs they done in their own empire. Okay, and uh, finally Ajatashatru's son Udain, he founded the city of Kusumpura or Padliputra. And Hairanga dynasty overthrown or overthrown by the Shishunaga dynasty after, after the uh, decline of Hariyanga dynasty, Shishunaga dynasty came and uh, Nanda rulers came again and Nanda rulers overthrew the Shishunaga and Mahapatma Nanda, he was the most important Nanda ruler. Who was the important strong ruler? Nanda. Mahapatma Nanda was the most important Nanda rulers. And... Uh, Magadha capital had been shifted to Padliputra at the time or by this time he became the king and Magadha, Magadhan capital had been shifted to Padliputra. He brought the entire genetic plan under his control. Okay and finally we discussed about Alexander's invasion. Alexander he was a great uh, ruler and uh, he was a great ruler of Macedonia, Greece. Okay, and he conquered Persia, then began marching towards northwestern India. Okay, and he, um, Alexander's invasion gave uh, many chance or opened up trade routes between India and Europe. Okay, after the invasion of Alexander or Alexander's invasion gave up or opened up trade routes between India and Europe. The invasion weakened the state of northwestern India and paved the way for the rise of the Mauryas. The invasion weakened after the invasion of Alexander. The northwestern India became very weak and it was the main reason for the rise of the Mauryas. Understood all of you up to here? We are going to study about the rise of Mauryas, the Mauryan Empire. Actually, what was the cause of the rise of Mauryan Empire? The invasion of Alexander. So, now we can go, we can start lesson 7. Now, we can start lesson 7. In this chapter, you will study how the Mahajanapada of Magadha became the center of India's first empire. I told you, we discussed about 16 Mahajanapadas and Magadha was very strong. How Magadha become a center of India's first empire. Okay. Magadha not only established control over the other Mahajanabadas, but also drew tri uh, tributes from remote regions beyond the Mahajanabadas. It became the center of the empire whose military strength was acknowledged by all and nobody dared to challenge. When we discussed about Magadha empire, I told you that many reasons uh, many uh, natural advantages also were their military, they were very strong, their military also very strong. So, nobody is ready to attack Magadha, Magadhan rulers. Okay. This powerful empire was established by Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta Maurya, he was the founder of or established, Chand established Ch established Mauryan Empire. Chandragupta Maurya, he established or he founded the Mauryan Empire. Now we are going to study about Chandragupta Maurya. Okay, detailed study of Chandragupta Maurya. Um, in 305, 305 BC, Chandragupta conquered the territories covering modern Afghanistan from the Greek ruler Seleucus and uh, Seleucus later sent his envoy Magasthanis to Patliputra. Chandragupta expanded his kingdom which now included Bihar and other parts of eastern Gangetic plain, central India and parts of Deccan. At the time of Chandragupta Maurya, he defeated, he conquered many areas. Which are the places? Bihar and other part of eastern Gangetic Plain, 
central india and parts of the deccan and in 297 bc he stepped down from the throne and uh, chandragupta was one of the most remarkable ruler of indian history he was a very important and a strong ruler of india when we will study about indian history he is very important person and he was a very important person and he was a very brave soldier and uh, wise administration and he started or he laid the foundation of the mauryan empire through a series of conquests he expanded his kingdom a wise and just king he ruled benevolently according to the jain text chandragupta was deeply influenced by jainism he was a conqueror as well as he was influenced by jainism in uh, previous lesson we discussed about jainism and buddhism at that time i explained why jainism uh, or many kings they give support to or they was they these people were the reason for the growth of jainism and uh, here chandragupta maurya he was also a deep he was also deeply influenced by jainism and uh, chandragupta son and successor bindusar extended the mauryan empire southward up to mysore so after the chandragupta maurya his son bindusara he also captured many areas he extended the mauryan empire southward up to the mysore okay after bindusara his son ashoka and all of you uh, definitely you know about ashoka because he was very uh, remembered or he was very greatest one of the greatest ruler of india so after the death of chandragupta his son bindusara came then after bindusara a strong ruler ashoka came and he is remembered ashoka is remembered as one of the greatest ruler of india and uh, the historians they got information from ashoka we learned about ashoka he was very uh, humble person and of course we we are going to learn about the kalinga war from where the historians they will get the information about ashoka they will get the information from the inscriptions on pillars and rocks okay historians they learned about ashoka from inscriptions on pillars and rocks and uh, they got information from the various parts of india okay and uh, this inscription provided invaluable information about the reign of a kind ruler named ashoka and the extent of his empire so all of you please read this lesson till ashoka next class we will continue with ashoka okay so page number 49 and 50 a small portion only we have covered today so this two three paragraph all of you read and in next class we will continue with ashoka thank you